Good morning, everybody. Shannon and Karen with Wandering Art Yonder. This is day 15 of our road trip. Um, really enjoyed being in Roswell yesterday. It was pretty cool. Cute was a town. Lot of fun. Dropping off today's mail drop at the Roswell Post Office. All right, today we are heading to the Valley of Fires. It's a lava volcanic site out here. It's the youngest volcanic site. I was kind of amazed. It's like 2,000 to 5,000 years ago, which is actually not that long ago. We read that it's on the opposite side of the um, El Mount High, where we were in 2022. Mm -hmm. And you, you can see the volcanic cones and so forth. So we're looking forward to that. We're also going to uh, uh, Lincoln National Forest. We're going to drive through some of that. We're going to go check out some petroglyphs at Three Rivers Petroglyph site, I believe. Yep. And then we will wind up in Oliver Lee Memorial State, State Park. Park. Right. Yeah. It looks really pretty. It's right on the edge of the mountain, so it looks real cool. We've got about 200, 200 miles we're going to cover today. All right. All right, guys. So join us for day 15. Started out nice. I came out of the van to go to do my morning routine. And the birds were just singing away, and I'm gonna add a clip uh, of all the birds I was listening to. It was really cool. It wasn't raining. Yes, we were happy it wasn't raining. called Billy the Kid Museum right here. This is a beautiful tile mural on the building. And it has some of the historical things that have happened in this area. Uh, pretty cool. There's Smokey. is Roswell so it kind of goes through some of the history uh, area there's some beautiful bronze statues here and I think it's a tribute to the wild horses of the west and I'm gonna walk over there and show this so you can kind of see them from here so this is the Hubbard Museum of the American West really cool statues and again I'm pretty sure that this was created to kind of memorialize or whatever the wild horses of the Midwest and they have these beautiful statues here and then they have up on the other side of this ridge uh, a bunch of wild horses running through the forest so it's pretty cool but from what I understand the museum is closed permanently if you look way out some of the higher peaks that snow we're at about 6,000 feet here where we are at right now so as you're coming around this path you see the horses 
So cool. And that's what this is depicting the wild horses of the West. gorgeous so cool I wish I could see some the Appaloosa horse so anyhow I'll go back and read these little signs I wanted to show you all of the statues first super cool all the different types of horses So these are depicting the thoroughbred horse. Cool. Considered the aristocrat of the horse racing, the thoroughbred supports a multi multinational racing industry. Yep. This is the American Quarter Horse. The American Quarter Horse originated in colonial times and earned his name from his superiority in races of a quarter mile. Isn't that pretty? And as you walk down here, these are the Appaloosas, I believe, down here. Really pretty. Yeah. It says the Appaloosa is a page out of history having come to the Americas with the Spanish explorers. Cool. Beautiful. Now these are the American paint horse. Beautiful. The origins of the paint horse in North America can be traced to the two-toned horses introduced by the Spanish explorers. Some escaped to create herds of wild horses. Captured and gentled, they were cherished by the finest horsemen of the western frontier. Very pretty. This is the Arabian horse. Intense affection, loyalty, strength, beauty, versatility, and intelligence. This is, describes the world's oldest known equine breed. This is the standard breed horse. Oops. The American Board Standard Bred Horse, so-called because early performers had to meet a time performance standard for admission to the stud book, has competed in this country for more than 150 years. And this is the Morgan Horse. And this says, the Morgan Horse breed descends from a single stallion fold in Massachusetts in 1789. Of unknown parentage, the bay stallion named figure moved to Vermont with his owner, Justin Morgan, and founded a dynasty. Okay. Wow, these are just beautiful. But anyhow, they've created this cool scene of the horses kind of galloping through this area. Pretty cool. I just didn't get it on videotape, but there are wild horses in this area, which I think is so cool because um, you don't see that anywhere probably except out here and it's a beautiful area, snow-capped mountains, um, a lot of people live up through here, little cabins and lodges and some gas stations, restaurants and that sort of thing. 
Anyhow, we're hoping we get to see the horses again. We'll see. Cute place. signs posted here that say wildlife activity, wildlife horses. So there is a lot of activity with the animals here. And this does not feel like New Mexico. No, this is so, so pretty. We are getting ready to go on the uh, Malpai Nature Trail. Malpai Nature Trail. It's actually a, a, about a little less than a mile walk through a lava field. I would like for you to take note of the American flag <laughs> flapping in the wind. It is so, so windy outside. This is part of the lava flow in the Malpai and El Malpai area. El Malpai being up off of Route 40 and then flows in. I guess this direction. The only difference between the two is this is a younger lava field. It is a paved path you have to stay on. And El Mal Pie is a much older lava field and you are actually walking on the lava field. So that would be the difference. And I think the mountains around yeah, here, the mountain chains around here are just gorgeous because they're snow capped right now as well as just beautiful. So we've got about four and a half miles to go. We're heading to the Three Rivers Petroglyph site. Do some exploring around there. But look at the mountains. Wow.
Today we are at Three Rivers Petroglyph site. This is the area that we're in. It is absolutely stunning, stunning, stunning here. Surrounded by beauty. Wow. There are so many petroglyphs here. I can't remember how many they said. I thought he said like 14,000. Yeah. I mean thousands of them. Uh, so you really just kind of take your time going through this trail. I think it's about a mile loop. Is that what she told us? Through here. Oh, there you go. I just kind of stop and look. This in this direction are the Sacramento Mountains. And then over here to the left. This is the Godfrey Hills. Permanent streams and intermittent arroyos carry fresh spring and rainwater from the mountain canyons to the Tularosa Basin. Most of the water quickly disappears underground or is completely used for human consumption and agriculture. In wetter prehistoric times, some of the arroyos, which now only run after heavy rains, may have been year-round streams. Between the years of about A.D. 1000 and A.D. 1400, Indian farming villages existed along each of the major streams. been sitting along the highway here for a while yeah probably going on about an hour and a half now yeah um there is a truck that overturned sometime this afternoon that they are cleaning up and we had the option of backtracking up over the awesome mountain that we did first thing this morning about a three hour drive. yeah it was about a three hour we're, we are like 15 minutes away from where we're staying tonight yeah and there we're in the middle of nowhere and there is no other routes around there's like two routes into this area one is blocked and the other one is on the other side of the mountain the other side of the mountains yeah, so, um so so yeah we chose rather than spend three hours in the gas driving around this right about a hundred mile back track wait an hour and a half two hours until they have it cleaned up right we we're just sitting here. We have plenty of food. We're fine. We have everything that we need in the van and we're actually working on letters home. Yep. Mm -hmm. Sending goodies home. So we're good. We're going to get in on quite a bit later than we had anticipated, but try not to complain because somebody was watching out for us. We weren't there when that happened. Yep. So we have been here for about three hours now, yep. but I think there's some hope. Two uh, state troopers, I guess, have just pulled in, hoping that that means that they're going to be opening things up here and letting people through. All right. Well, um, there was an accident on this highway. And some kind of truck overturned, I guess, with some chemicals. So it was a chemical spill. Um, we are like, <laughs> we are three hours into waiting. And and we have been, I think, like 11 miles away from the campground that we're staying tonight. <laughs> yeah, it's just, just up there. But like we always say, uh, it could be worse. Yep. Um, 
whenever we have to be in these kinds of situations. That means somebody up ahead of us is in a very bad situation. Right. It's having a far worse day than we are. So we have patiently waited and mm -hmm. we're fine. Uh, state police, New Mexico fine. State Police did just come up the road and uh, he's going car to car. I can't even imagine how many cars are behind us now. Mm -hmm. We're kind of at the very front of the line, which is a good thing. But he went car to car to say it's going to be another 15 to 20 minutes, which yeah, so I was impressed with. There's hope. Yeah. So, and I can finally see ahead of us. This accident is just ahead of us. I can finally see some flashing lights up there, which means they're trying to deal with some stuff up there. So, but we had beautiful scenery while we waited. Yeah, we did. We knew we the longest pictures. train we've ever seen. Yeah, it was <laughs> a five minute long train. Couldn't believe it. Nope. <laughs> so. Anyhow, that's that. That's our day. Yep. So, yeah. On day 14 or 15, whatever day this is. Tomorrow, we're going to get in at Oliver Lee Memorial State Park tonight. Get set up, it looks like, in the dark. Plan is to get up nice and early, hopefully, to get the White Sands first thing in the morning. Spend the morning at White Sands half a day, and then we are headed to Wilcox, I believe, tomorrow. So, we'll right. check in then. All right. Part of the desert.